Welcome to John Lindsay's Muscle Contest, the 2016 NPC IFBB Legends Pro Bikini in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm here in a historical moment, the first classic physique overall champion, Robert Timms. Robert, this is a new division and a lot of athletes are looking at you and visualizing, this is how I need to look. Uh, you know, what was your decision to make this um, choice to become a classic physique athlete? Well, I've been in uh, a couple of bodybuilding shows and I enjoyed them, they were awesome. Um, but I love the symmetry of the classics and the way they move, the way they flow and how everything is like elegant. And that's what kind of triggered me. When I found out about the class, it was a matter of me kind of in, being in, the, in between and not big, kind of big enough to be a bodybuilder, but not, you know, lean, lean enough to be a physique competitor. So when they came up with the class, it was a class that was kind of perfect for me. And I love the fact that they had the height and weight because it kind of dials down the, 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 the extra size on a shorter guy, you know, versus a taller guy. And it just kind of evens the playing field. So it's one of those kind of awesome things that just happened, that just happened to happen. Well, fantastic. Now, it's also very important to mention your active military in the Air Force. Many of our NPC and IFBB athletes have served or continue to serve, and we are here because of them. So on behalf of the entire NPC and IFBB, we'd like to thank you for your service and all the great athletes that continue to serve and have served. Now, Robert, it seemed like you practice your posing. You were no stranger to all those classic poses. You had perfect mandatories. And when we called the classic physique, you had great pose. Tell us a little bit about this process. Well, it's funny. Um, my first coach, posing coach, he was a classical poser. And um, he taught me all the classic poses. And I used those poses as I was going through my bodybuilding career. So coming classic it was kind of normal to me that's kind of the only way I do know how to pose so it's it was very very easy for me to transition over and then being that I used to dance it was easy to do the the the, the transitions and make it look smooth and fluid so I brought a little bit of that and put it together and well your physique was majestic you had tremendous conditioning symmetry and his waist guys Tiny little waist. Now, I see here on your team that your nickname is Tiny Tims. Now, with the exception of your waist, nothing else is tiny. No. Tell us a little bit where that nickname Tiny comes from. Well, being that I'm larger now, um, it's kind of an oxymoron to call me Tiny, being that I'm a little bit larger. Okay. We're going to nickname you the first classic overall champion. Yes, sir. Robert, like the that. first overall classic champion from Tiny Squad. That's right. You'll Tiny change Squad. the name yes, afterwards. <laughs> now, on behalf of Muscle Contest, NPC, and IFBB, we are tremendous, tremendous honor to have you on stage. You're a phenomenal champion. What is the next step? Are you the next classic physique overall Mr. Olympia USA's Nationals? Where are you going? For me, honestly, <clears throat> to believe that something is above me is not me. So that is quite a possibility. That will happen. Very humble guy. Watch out for these guys. They're the most dangerous ones. All classic physique guys, we started here with a phenom. Stay tuned. Remember, our next show, February the 13th, the NPC Gold Coast Classic in Redondo Beach Performing Center Arts, close to Los Angeles, California. I'm Tarek El Gindi. The phenom, Robert Timms. We'll see you next time.